guys how we doing so I got a uh, 30 September 2021 it's about 730 out here out west so it's laid out back out east and I hope everybody's had a good day okay a good evening if you're listening to this video you're having a good morning if you're just tuning into this video tomorrow October 1st okay so look let me get right into it all right I want to talk about these two tricks down there in uh, Miami Beach, Florida, okay? Uh, by the name of, let's see here, Elizabeth Lobby and Kim Martinez, all right? So, hey, don't, hey, don't let the pretty smile fool you, okay? And the pretty looks, all right? These women are professional robbers. They knew what they were doing, and this man was targeted, okay? So, these two women... Uh, let me see here. Uh, drugged and ro uh, robbed a man out Miami Beach. Uh, he spiked his drink, okay? And they're facing a plethora of fel felony charges, okay? Of drugging and robbing, all right? Larceny charges as well. Uh, let me see here. This happened actually 27 September. <coughs> Uh, three days ago so these uh, two ladies met up with a guy at Sonny's bar down on Collins Avenue down on South Beach around that area actually Miami Beach is going to be just north of Miami all right uh, off the 195 and the A1A that's basically what Collins is the A1A or beach all right it's been years since I've been down there but it was pretty much in that location okay so they went to Sonny's bar met up with this guy i don't know what they talked about all right and uh i guess they had a couple of drinks and they they were lured they were lured out to collins park okay where they were uh this man was given a drink probably spiked with a substance called xanax okay it's basically like a date rape rape drug and the guy, I guess, had felt woozy. And next thing you know, he's, he's passed out. So they took the man's credit card, his Omega watch, which was uh, valued at $10,000. Even took his damn sneakers, okay, called, I guess, the Yeezy sneakers. I didn't know if they're talking about Yeezy, all right, uh, Yeezy. Um, the rapper, I didn't know he had some sneakers. And once they, I guess, was able to have uh, to take the credit card, and uh, the next day, these ladies spent fifteen thousand dollars of it, okay, of uh, on purchases, various purchases that is, and they were caught later that day on Collins Avenue. Uh, these two ladies were, I guess, had. Uh, the car identified by the police and that they had testified in court during the preliminaries uh, yesterday, okay? Uh, pre a preliminary hearing, uh, the plead guilty or not guilty off the 30, 60 day, uh, 90 day rule. <clears throat> so, hey, y'all gotta be careful. And I know that uh, tourist, tourist season is coming to an end all right, but, you know, it's pretty much warm down there all year in South Beach. Um, they, they have professional robbers out there. I've seen, actually, some cases on forensic files of guys getting robbed out there, okay, uh, at the airport, uh, during the at, uh, car rental place. A um, couple of cases out there with uh, tourists being robbed. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say all is bad about Miami, all right? I've been down there a handful of times uh, to Miami, Orlando, Tampa. Uh, when I was living out east at one time, stationed in Georgia, uh, I used to love going to Jacksonville for the most, but, you know, it's a great place. I feel as though Miami's a little bit overrated, but, you know, they got some good fishing out in the Keys, so I've been down there a couple of times to fish. Great place. Which is one of the things you have to watch your back or whatever, okay? Because, yes, tourists are targeted, and people know that people come to Florida with money. They come, you'll use Florida as a winter haven, 
all right, coming from up north and all that, all right, starting to cool off up north. And you really, really have to uh, watch yourself and not get caught up in, this, some, in them wicked-ass women, okay? Um, if there was uh, at a designated place, maybe this wouldn't have happened. I don't know, okay? But these guys are, are targeted. Actually, you know, I was told from a friend of mine that I uh, dated some years back that uh, actually that um, let's just say if they're prolific guys with a lot of success and money, all right, athletes and stuff like that, there's an app, okay, for um, popular people, so, uh, notables when they come in town, okay, and some of these uh, tricks or whatever, that they, they're waiting, they're waiting for these men, all right, to come, all right, so they can maybe get dates or and, and get whatever they want. Hopefully they can get paid. Some maybe hope they can get knocked up from these guys or whatever. All right, so you got to be very, very careful out there in South Beach. Uh, they've had a lot of issues out there in South Beach uh, during spring break where girls allegedly got raped out there in the beach during spring break. Uh, clubs were torn up out there because I guess when people come, yeah, there's, there's nowhere else open, so... I don't know, they had to find somewhere, or maybe they felt they had to find somewhere to blow off steam, all right? But that's not the way. Uh, be careful when you taking these drinks and all that, all right? So you may want to keep an eye on that drink or whatever and not leave it. And that comes, it goes for you ladies too, not to leave your drink unattended. Maybe if it's one of your girlfriends or a family member that you can trust, that's one thing, but you know, I hope that she's very trustworthy. So, all right, hey, this stuff really happens. Believe it or not, about 10 years ago or so, I was spiked, uh, my drink was spiked when I was out there in LA, all right, where I went to a party and I went to go see a, a, a lady friend and I had some wine or whatever. And I just knew it didn't, I didn't feel right. And uh, I ended up leaving LA, I made it to Riverside, which is about an hour away and I checked in the room and slept it off, and then I made it back to Vegas. I wasn't here that long, maybe a couple of years. But this stuff, hey, this stuff really does happen, okay? Well, who's to say what would have happened to me if I was in L.A.? Okay, so, um, hey, you guys got to be very, very careful out there uh, in that part of the country, but anywhere for the most part, especially when you're on vacation. Let this be a cautionary tale. Hopefully this... Uh, Justice will be brought to these ladies. Um, and that's that's all I can say, all right? Maybe this is some type of, not only just a cautionary tale, but <clears throat> also maybe a wake-up call for people, all right? Men, uh, ladies, and men as well, okay, that do stuff like this, that, um, hey, that there's going to be consequences. There's always consequences for the things that you do adverse. So, again, I'm just leaving this for cautionary set, uh, uh, measures. Be uh, safe out there. Be careful on your travels, okay? Keep a swiveling head. Keep an eye on your surroundings. Have a good time. And uh, if you find this video interesting, you can feel free to uh, subscribe, leave your comments, like, shares. Let me know what you think about this video. And give me an update about this uh, matter if you wish particularly those that live in, you know, the South Beach area, all right, or in the promixity, if you like this video, or if you want to donate to the channel, Cash App Winston Spivey or SPIVEW1 at UNLV.Nevada.edu. All right, thanks for listening.